spot this shade cloth it's 4.2 by 3 meters I've put my pom balls in Welcome to uh, Kentish Kicks again. It's the weekend. I'm late. <laughs> well, I say I'm late. I just do it as I want and things. I don't let it get um, on top of me. So um, it's just this is there to for my enjoyment as much as passing on anything that I might, you know, be doing or know or whatever. But um, here we are. Here's summer, my Westie. Summer. You're a beautiful baby, aren't you? Yes. Um, so as you can see down here, there's a couple of changes this week. Not a lot, not a lot. Um, and the, the biggest one really is if you can probably tell, if I pan away, you see the triangle. Um, I got this colorist sand. Um, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, I was going to build a pergola type pergola or a, a building that I know me it's now April it's soon been May and I just thought that uh, there's no way that I'm going to get that done in time I just know I'm not because I'm still undecided on what I'm going to do so in the week I was working away and on my lunch break I um, went on Amazon because I always do most tastes any, anything to be had and I noticed, um, because of that time of year probably, that there was a shade cloth on there. In fact, I thought I was going to just search shade cloth on this, if any offers. And I found this one. Now, for some reason, it was more expensive, a lot more expensive in black. And I weren't sure, it was £24, I think, including the ropes. There was one a bit more expensive. Um, that didn't include the ropes and you have to buy the adjusters and things like that and I just thought mm, I just want something I can just step up for now but looks better than the green the green shading that I've been using for the last three four years that I put up in the tight to my tree so if I pan back if I pan back as you can see what I've done my shade was from this tree and all the way over and it was a bit of a pain in the butt but what I've done is I trimmed this tree right back. You can see it. Look, I've took a limb out here, and I'm pretty sure. See that big one there? <laughs> took that out that was here. That was right in my way. I used to smack him head and stuff. So I've made it more open, which is a bit. Um, and uh, do you know what? I love it because I love the sun. I can sit there and that gets the sun all day. Uh, my missus don't like it as much because she's not keen on that. She like, likes the sun but not sitting in it. So this part here, look, would have been in shade now. Nice dappled shade, which has now sported it a bit for my wife. But um, she'll get over it. I might have to just get something done over there anyway. But we'll see how the summer goes. Um, so... Yeah, I bought this shade cloth. It's 4.2 by 3 meters. So it's like a, it's not quite a triangle. And I slapped it up yesterday with my son. I thought get out in, just get it up. It's not brilliant. I know it looks a little bit shoddy, but um it looks better than the green netting and it, in it and I've got this space now in front. Uh so It kind of matches me uh, Japanese type symbol thing there. It just looks a lot better and it's surprising. Um, I don't like it's doing a lot, but I'm not too worried about the sun at this point in the day. Because it's midday. Is it midday yet? Just about midday. But as you can see, if you look at the behaviour of the fish, the shower was completely covered, so that's not burning away and going grey and getting loads of heat in there. So that's good. I've put it right up against the fence because the sun comes up here. It is about midday because the sun is straight above me and I'm there. 
and then it comes across here and it's at its hottest about here so in about an hour about one o'clock it'll come in it'll hit this so obviously it'll be higher up in the sky as well higher up and then when it gets to here two o'clock ish it'll be beating down here so hopefully you can see where it will be shaded so at the minute I'm going to go back up I'm here under my filter you can see the shaded the only thing I do I don't like about it is I like the colour but because it's now because the sun's higher I'm getting the glare of the actual shade cloth off it but I suppose you do because it's not covering the old pond I wasn't going to get a rectangle one but I've not got posts to fit it to so I just bought this as a temporary measure but anyway if you look at the behaviour of the fish, um, they like to sort of swim and coast round as you do, but they don't generally sit in the sun. And if you don't know, koi fish, especially white ones, can get sunburn. So if towards this time of year, going into summer, if you notice that your white koi are getting like uh, red marks on them, it's sunburn. You pond these shade in. So if you look at these now, look, they're all coming into this shade. See them? We've got the old pond lot. And they're all enjoying this. It's almost, what, a third of the pond is now in a shade. The wall's shading that there. So that's a quarter. It's always shaded a bit there, to this, well, in the morning. There. So even though it's not fully shaded, parts of the day it's shaded but there's still sun so I'm going to have to see how this goes in terms of algae and things like that because it is more heavily shaded my shade cloth went right down over this as well um, so that plant filter is going to get absolutely battered with algae I'm sure so I'm going to have to I don't know maybe uh, regular maintenance there with my pond vac where they all are, look, I just thought I'd show you. Look at that. So already I'm feeling a nice koi keeper because they're enjoying that. Nice, I think this reduces 80% shade and UV. This shade cloth. So it's the UV that can do the damage as we know guys. So it's still light, it's not dark. And it's just nice. Um, another thing I did, I've got this real thick felt I had on top of my filter, my shower. That's took that out now because it just needs cleaning too often. I've put um, cut some filter floss up, so I've got a layer of filter floss in there now. Um, pond temperature. This spooked the fish. I did my second PP in yesterday, guys yesterday um, did the PP I'll tell you what for some reason even though it was clear like this um, the PP went off fairly quick um, which surprised me now I think the reason being and I'll share this with you guys is what I did and I've never done this before and this is the reason behind it I spread it out more so instead of just pouring it in this pond at the end there because what, you, what you'll see is with the PP, if you spread it around the pond, it will just slowly move like a fog. Because it goes with your movement of your... But what I did, I poured it down the side there, and it sort of dropped and hung there. And then I poured it on the blade, well, my runoff, my slab, uh, sorry, tile runoff. And then I poured it in my plant filter because I thought I'll attack some organic matter in there. Um, Oh, well, no, well, not well, that wasn't my reason really, but it was just uh, so because I thought it'd pull through, but it took a while for it to pull through. Um, so I think because of that, it wasn't lo you know, locally in here. So normally I pour it in here in the middle, just throw it in, boom, line, 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 and it normally sits in here for a long time and then it gradually pulls through the system. So that was a, I suppose, maybe an error on my part. However, the fish are looking good. The pond's had its second PP treatment. 
So now the temperatures is still cold. We've had a real cold spell in the UK because we're getting these days, we've had these days for a week, absolutely gorgeous, but we're not getting the warmth because it's obviously still April. So the pond temperature today is 10 degrees. Um, that yesterday started producing foam. So I'm about ready to turn my skimmer line up to get more water flowing through there. I'm not going too quiet yet because I think it's still cold. So I don't want to get the water moving too much. I want to try and get some temperature built up in the pond. But out of interest, let's have a look in this one. Yeah, 10. So they're both the same. I got these spa thermometers off a seller on Amazon, I think, or eBay. It was only like something like £8 for two. And I thought, give them a go. And you know what? They've been great. This one, it come off. There were two there, and it dropped into the pond all over winter. So I've put it here now. I've got it out. But the pond, look how clear it is. The still got a nice coating of algae on the walls, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's beneficial. I like a nice thin coating. This is where it gets the sun look, the light. You can see it's thicker. If you look on the other side, it'd not be as thick. So there's that shade there now. Looks growing. See this? Now the sun is getting it's slowly moving. already as you can see the shade is going to get bigger and then that will get bigger so I'll get more shade once it's slightly above this in about an hour because the Sun will come straight above straight in the back of the middle of it I will obviously get the full four meters by three meters by three meters over the pond and the two corners will be won't be will be in the Sun for a short bit because that will be direct through the gap here so there will be light here and light there and then obviously at night time or late in the afternoon it will be here so I'll get the shade this should be more or less shaded off and so will the back end will be shaded off so even though it's this shape you get parts of the day where it's shading I'm hoping that's enough to keep the algae away so I've got my filter, my filter floss in there. I've got a, pot, a stand pipe in there, and I put an hole in the filter floss. So if it blocks up, it pours over the hole and goes through the shower. I could pour, I could pour an overflow on it as well if I wanted. Just put an hole in it and a bit of pipe sticking out into the pond, so it floods into the pond, so you could see it like an overflow warning pipe. But I've never got round to that. So it is 13 minutes gone already. Here, look, call you again, look. You know, you do things, you do things to a pond and you see an instant reaction. It makes you feel good, don't it? So, on that note, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Enjoy your koi. Happy days. The sun is here. Just need the temperature to kick in now on average days. May, guys. May is normally a choppy month. Uh, my wife says to me last night that this summer, I know they say it every year, <laughs> I'll get it right one fucking year, aren't they? Oh, language, sorry. Um, that we're going to have an absolute stonking summer this year. So, which might mean warm water, a lot warmer, parasite, so keep an eye on them. Um, so now that's done, I'm going to give it a, a, a week or so. Get towards the, probably the last week of April, going to May. And then I'm going to put a layer of, put my pond balls in. I've got some beneficial bacteria. Because they're not feeding that much now, so I'm not going to throw them in yet. I'm going to wait till I'm chucking more food in. Then I'm going to put a couple of pond balls in, and then once I then build up for the, for the year. So I'll do it in about three stages. I've got enough to do about 30,000 litres, and this is 10,000. So I've got enough to do three, three lots of bacteria in. And that's it. There, there's a little one I bought last year. Look, I bought it just out of interest from a local fish shop, and it's a, it's like a, a, a grey white, um, what's it called? Longfin. 
decoy. Um, it's lost its, it had a lovely spot on its head and that's what caught my eye but it's bloody gone. So just to finish, thanks for watching. Oh another tip why I'm here, tell you what, if you buy koi it's very risky when they're young like that. Prime example, I bought it because it had a lovely spot on its head, I thought that would develop, develop nice, well it's gone. So it's just a white grey fish now. So it's very risky buying young koi, very risky and that's why established koi that are quite a big size cost hundreds and thousands of pounds because it's already developed you're getting what you've got so the chance of it losing that is probably not going to happen and that's why they're so expensive because they've been selected and selected and grown on but if you buy a young fish like I did look for 13 quid at your local shop you just get in standard koi there's nothing special about them you just pot luck because koi like that Japanese breeders, they don't just give them away. They won't give them away and put them in the, domain, uh, the public. They're not daft. They're great breeders. They know what they're doing. And that's where when you go to koi shops, you see A grade, um, high grade, um, I don't know, whatever, A, A grade, A plus grade. Well, it's a bit of a gimmick that really. They're not really A grade. The, the, the koi that the breeders releasing in the hundreds and thousands at this size because they've selected them and they've put them to one side and they're releasing them because they know they've got the experience that that koi is not going to make like show grade so you, if you're into really high quality koi you know you better go to a koi dealer and and get a bigger fish um, but most of us aren't there are we you know, I've got some in here, the Japanese koi. This is a Japanese koi, a goshki, and it's lost its benny look. Look at it, it doesn't look very good now at all. Um, that's one example. Another example, that kohaku um, there, that costs 150 quid, that one. And it had some sashi where it's sashi is when the um the benny is breaking up you probably can't see it and it was at the back end when i bought it and I, I shouldn't have bought it but i bought that from a really good dealer absolute koi 150 pound um you know i i wouldn't i don't think i'd pay 150 pound for that fish now but it should with its age it's probably twice as big when I bought it if not more it should be worth 400 pound now but it's not so it's all on potluck well no it's not potluck it's already put determined on what you what you want to spend this tancho I bought that weren't cheap but it's now developed some um, Benny on the side of the head so now if that happens it's technically a, a shower but it's still nice, looks nice in the pond, don't it? Still a cracker, I, I like the bands on it and its head that we're creating. Here's that kwaku. You can see on its side the sachet. So, beware. Sorry, rambling 18 minutes. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, have a great week at work, and I'll uh, hopefully see you next week.